The TM Lights annual visit to Quincy saw Bobby Dollar take out the Delano Polo while driving his own number 98 car. On the outside of the front row is Matt Taylor, the 04 Master Cup champion, in place of the suspended Ryan Griffin. Jim Hayes, starting fourth, also received a penalty after Ohio for some of the shenanigans he caused. Anyway, a little further back in the pack, Clara Sear, car 28, is hitting the wall again. She's kind of hit the wall about 28 times in all the practice sessions. She gets punted by Sakura Matoko and is going to spin up the track. Oh, there's Bernard Strauss, the 7 car, goes into the wall and he goes tumbling down the banking. Strauss did not qualify very well and that's the penalty you pay when you start at the back and there's an early race incident. You're most likely going to be in it. Anyway, here is uh, the 08 car of Ike Durbin hammering into James Davison who got turned around. We're about to see what happened to Davison. The Michigan winner, the 29 car, has had a pretty good run so far this year, but uh, he just kind of got turned around by a little chain reaction there, and Ike Durbin into the back of him. Not quite sure how much time Durbin had to react to that, but, uh, but he probably used a bit more brakes there. Anyway, Cesar Villanova in car number eight is leading the race. Little further back in the pack, we have the other Lynx women's team car, the 27 of Ellie Collada brushing the wall, and Roger Kendall spins out right in front of her. Okay, oh, Tiffany Matthews just hammers into that, the 16 car. Mark Blackwell, the 22, didn't really seem to slow down. On board with Tiffany Matthews, who will undoubtedly say that this is just racing luck, when uh, really, there's the wreck. Please try to avoid it, and don't pile into it. Thank you very much. Pretty sure I'll get an angry letter about that on Monday. Anyway, here is uh, Brandon Larry on the 33 and Dexter Hamlet in the 54. They had an on-track disagreement, and they took each other into the pit wall at 10 miles an hour, and were both called to the hauler. Anyway, here is Troy Adams in the number nine car, the points leader who's won two races this year in lead of the, in lead, in the lead of the race, um, not surprisingly. Jim Hayes peeled off into the pits. He was a lap car in between himself and uh, between uh, Adams and second place car. Claire Osir brushes the wall. Brian Morris reacts to that and spins the 28 car around. That seems like a typical racing incident, if you ask me. Uh, Claire Osir has not really had a good weekend, and this is just making it worse. So... Um, I doubt the uh, French Canadian is going to be terribly happy here. Here's two people that aren't terribly happy with each other. Dermot Scott in the 10, Justin Robinson in the 11. Their pit crews got into uh, a bit of a fight down there in the pits after uh, Dermot Scott kind of piled into the back of the 11 car in the pit lane, so I don't really know why he did that. Uh, the, those two crews are pitted a, a little ways apart from each other. Uh, the uh, number four car of Nathan Ferguson was leading on the restart. Jim Hayes is uh, off the lead lap. He's been in the wall a couple of times in that 07 car. But uh, Ferguson in car number four, driving for Leonid Roderick, has two wins this year. Joseph Cummings in the 04 car, is running fairly well, gets turned around by the 27 Valley Colada. He doesn't use the brakes as he enters the pit lane, hammers into the 07 of Hayes. What was that all about? When you're getting spun towards the pit lane, uh, usually what uh, people do is they uh, slow down. That's why there's a speed limit in the pits. is in, So that incidents like that don't happen in the pit lane where there's other people working, possibly. Uh, as you might have expected, he was called to the hauler for that. The uh, steward's office, whichever term you prefer. Nathan Ferguson pitted after he brushed the wall, giving Cesar Villanova, or CVN as we begin to call him, the lead of the race is uh, in the Gutierrez brothers' car. Battle for the lead here between CVN, uh, J Zach Gott in the, 21, in the uh, 71 car, excuse me, and the 98 car of Bobby Dollar, the pole sitter. Dollar in the 98 car is going to have uh, enough drive off the corner. He's going to take the lead. Zach Gott has been kind of... Uh, Kind of anonymous for most of the season, despite that very brightly colored car. He's finally running uh, fairly well in this car. He's uh, having a, well, gravity racing, not sure if they're keeping him or not. He's got a lot of ties to that team, so I suspect they, they will. He's brushed the wall twice, as you can see there, and so is Villanova. Uh, Bobby Dollar, after hitting the wall, immediately pitted in case he had a cut tire. Zach Gott waited 10 laps. Turned out he did. Here is the 14 car of Brian Morris as uh, he's going to get a little help from behind by Thurston Blood and that was not a very uh, sportsmanlike move by Blood at all. Just turned Brian Morris on a straightaway and if Brian Morris is angry about that, he has every right to be because uh, uh, Blood just turned him around for no reason at all. Now, this is what the restart looks like. Five wide because some people don't know how to get... Um, the order sorted out. Martin Baltno Jr. does the smart thing and abandons this. Bobby Dollar comes screaming in here, and guess what happens? A wreck. Oh, Jim Hayes comes into the back of that thing just to kind of, well, put an end to that. Thomas Caden, that 15 car, was the only one of those cars that was actually on the lead lap, by the way. 
Jacob Card was leading on that last restart. He's been really anonymous all season long, and I think EV Racing's kind of had enough of that. He might lose his ride unless he actually has a good run here for a change. Here's Ali Collada bouncing off the inside wall. Slides back up the track. Brings out the sixth caution uh, in 50 laps. Dexter Hamlet's gotten into a fight with somebody else on the track, and this time it's Nasa Tsunamachi. But Tsunamachi um, had to pit because he's got a fire coming out of the back of that car. Hamlet apparently was just trying to rub salt into the wound. Thomas Cade was actually leading on that last restart, but um, this restart was waved off after he blew up coming to the green. So it's a good thing uh, that the officials are paying attention because uh, most of the drivers don't appear to be. Lang Chong Kun is leading the race. Jacob Card is second. They're the only two cars on the lead lap. And guess what? They don't appear to have too many marks on them. Jacob Card's only scraped the wall once, and I think Lang Chong Kun has done likewise. But other than that, those are two of the cleanest looking cars out there, along with that 05 curve, Andrea Canassa. Canassa was caught out and uh, by, some of the pit, by some of the pit lane shenanigans. Here's Tyrone Stanley, the 51, subbing for Mike Andrews. He uh, got, uh, tried to make a move in between the two Roderick Motorsports cars and spun out. I have to say that's kind of a racing incident because that was very, very close. Very close. Here is uh, Caution Taylor in the 68 car as he hammers in the back of Brandon Lario and sends Jim Hayes into the wall for about the 35th time this race. Uh, I'm not sure why they took the nose off that 07 car. Uh, apparently the engine was overheating in, that, in there and they decided to pull the whole nose off. Whatever works for them, I suppose. There are, so, there are so many laps down, I don't think it matters. Anyway, Lang Chung couldn't let on the restart, but Jacob Card was quickly hunting him down. Jacob Card, the Canadian driver, car 133, driving for EV Racing, works his way around the Chinese driver coming in 3 and 4, but it looks like uh, Kun may have enough coming around the outside. And wow, we got a green flag run going here. Oh, this is nice to see. A great change from the usual end. Hey, we get a good race out of it, too, between Jacob Carr and Lang Chong Kun. All he needs really two cars to put on a good race, and this is proof of that. Card is now beginning to stretch his lead just a little bit uh, in the EV racing car. No sponsors on that car this year. There's uh, not been uh, too much financial in inflow to that, uh, financial input to that team, really, by anyone else. Jacob Card almost throws the lead away with that little, um, well, he's running in the back of the lap car, really, that spawn seeing the three car. Uh, and the 05 car is Andrea Kinasa. So uh, Jacob Card, uh, it looks like he's really trying to keep his job because I've never seen him drive this hard. And Lang Chong Kun, uh, I feel the same way about him. I think his ride is uh, kind of in danger. But uh, Lang Chong Kun certainly trying his hardest to take the lead away from Jacob Card. Here is Thurston Blood in the one car, the defending series champion, as he gets turned around on the back straightaway in lap 81. That's nine cautions. And we have, that's... Well, nine laps per caution flag. It doesn't make this race look particularly good now, does it? Anyway, uh, Thurston Blood has uh, kind of had a miserable year so far, but uh, he's trying to make the most of it. Claire Osir got a bump from Eric Molina in the 21 car. Claire Osir's day couldn't get any worse. Um, unless, of course, you get into an incident with your teammate. As uh, that was just kind of... Not really sure why that brought out the yellow, but it did, because I guess uh, the flagman thought that was going to be a much bigger wreck. But anyway... Slow pit work by Jacob Card's team, uh, costing the lead to Lang Chong Kun. As Bobby Dollar in the 98 car is racing Jacob Card and Lang Chong Kun to try to get his lap back. Yes, if Bobby Dollar passes these two cars, he's back in the lead lap and back in the race. So you can understand why he's racing this hard when there's only two cars in the lead lap and they're, well, both right there. And especially when uh, that 98 car looks relatively clean. So, uh, well, anyway, here's something we haven't seen before. What are the Lynx cars getting put in the wall? This time, Ali Collada for what seems like the 15th time this race. Brandon Lario doing the honors this time in the uh, afterburner ride, the number 33 car. Jacob Card leads on the restart. Lang Chung Kun getting an opportunistic start. Kun may have gotten the jump on him, but Card is now up on the outside there. There's not too many laps left in this race. Could be... Oh, no! Big wreck there as Jacob Card goes over in the 133 car. That's Brian Morris flipping wildly. Bobby Dollar in it as well. Matt Taylor just squeaks through there. Uh, has that got Tyrone Stanley involved? Now, let's see what Brian Morris in the 14 car did to contribute to this. I think that was the car all the way on the inside here. And Brian Morris just came in there way too hot. Way too hot. No way that was going to work when there's already three cards about to wreck there anyway. Brian Morris, the 14 car, just a giant piece of brain fade that's probably the dumbest thing i've seen him do uh since he ever came into the series uh he was invited to the uh, steward's office and when i mean invited i mean called there 
And so was um, uh, Tyron Stanley and uh, Bobby Dollar when uh, he was finally cleared and released on the uh, care center. Zach Gott was as well. Anyway, several cars are now back in the lead lap due to um, brain fade on the part of Brian Morris. I understand there was an altercation between uh, Brian Morris and Jacob Carr, and when I mean altercation, I mean uh, something that could have been mistaken for a lightweight title fight. Anyway, Zach Gott is still running in that 71 car as he's going to get hooked and turned around by the 9 car of Troy Adams, and we see more trouble with Buffy Borinaz and Jim Hayes. I think that was just kind of a stack up there that caused those two to go around. But anyway... Uh, Lang Chung Kun, the number six car, restarts in the lead. Second place is the 79 car of Archer Harris. And uh, wait till you get a look at that car. And Cameron Taylor is running in third in the 68 car, driving for Dan Timothy. Andrea Canassa is fourth. They're all on the lead lap. Here is Canassa in the 05 car. She gets turned around here and uh, goes out the tr outside the track. And, well, we've finally seen everything. 14 cautions in, 100, in 118 laps. Andrea Canassa ends the race. Um, outside the racetrack, and that is uh, Kanasa's exit from the event. Anyway, Lang Chong Kun restarted as the leader. Now, here's that 79 car. This is the battle for second place. The CRL Modified is the 79 car. The uh, the 68 car, that is Cameron Taylor driving for Dan Timothy. I wish they uh, picked a different shade of green for that car. That 68 car does look rather hideous. Um, but anyway, the 79 car had been in the wall a bunch of times, but it was Lang Chong Kun that would come home to what was a uh, fairly easy victory after his main competition guy no got knocked out by uh, someone else being, uh, well, not very uh, smart out there on the racetrack. Cameron Taylor, good result, second place. Maybe he's uh, turning the page and finally starting to run well legitimately for a change. Archer Harris, a solid third. Thurston Blood, after getting involved in every single wreck under the sun, seemingly, comes home in fourth. Eric Molina, fifth. Troy Adams salvages a sixth place. That's how you win championships. John Jefferson, Tyrone Stanley, Quan Sang, Zach Gott in the 71 car brings home a solid top 10 finish. Uh, I don't think the uh, stewards uh, were at all upset with Zach Gott, although uh, they might have had a couple of questions for him. Martin Baltino Jr., Axel Anderson had solid runs. Collada and Alcir hit everything under the sun and uh, hit it again. Andrea Canassa failed to finish. Dexter Hamlet and Jim Hayes finished eight and nine laps down. Matt Taylor had a fire in that car. Uh, towards the end of the race, and I missed that. Buffy Borinaz uh, didn't finish the race, so neither did Jacob Carr, and it's a bit of a shame for the uh, Canadian driver there. And let's have a look at the top ten in points. As Troy Adams is a very big lead coming into Road America over Ike Durbin. I think Troy Adams can afford to play conservatively, but um, I think that this might be a four-horse race for the championship. I think that uh, Adams, Durbin, Harris, and Kanasa are really the only major contenders as Sakura Matoko has not terribly been reliable. Ali Kalata sees in a sort of, uh, well, gone south, um, even though she did score some points here today. Nathan Ferguson, that four car, has not really had too many good runs lately, and that's kind of a shame. Cameron Taylor is beginning to turn things around. Lang Chung Kun in the six car, of course, scored his first win. And Thurston Blood is uh, in car number one. We'll see the TM Light Series in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin, when they visit Road America.